Hello everyone, I'm Isan. In this video, we'll compare the camera quality of two Samsung's latest mid-range smartphones. They are Samsung A34 5G and Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. First, let's see a comparison of the cameras on these two smartphones when taking photos with the main camera. For the main camera on the rear, the camera resolution only has a small difference. Samsung Galaxy A34 used 48 megapixel camera and Samsung Galaxy A54 5G used 50 megapixel resolution camera. Then when looking at the results of photos comparison with the main camera on these two smartphones, in general in sufficient light conditions outdoors, the results of the photos look quite balanced in various conditions. It's just that there are some differences that we find such as the results of photos that look warmer or a little bit yellowish on Samsung A34. While Samsung A54 tends to produce photos that are cool or slightly bluish. Then the color saturation also looks slightly higher in Samsung A34 compared to Samsung A54 5G. But for the results of photos in low light conditions indoors, Samsung Galaxy A54 produce photos that are more detailed and have better contrast. However, it's just that sometimes this has an impact on some parts of the photo which tend to look a bit darker. And the photo looks brighter on the Samsung Galaxy A34. Especially if you just look at the photos in general without paying attention to the details. However, for photos with an ultra wide lens here, Samsung A54 shows results that clearly look better in various conditions. The photos of Samsung A54 with its 12 megapixel ultra wide lens look brighter and detailed. And when compared to the ultra wide lens photos of Samsung A34 which only have a resolution of 8 megapixel, the results of the photos immediately appear darker and lack of detail for the photos on the ultra wide lens on Samsung Galaxy A34. Then for the portrait photos on these two smartphones, both of them can produce portrait photos that are quite neat and accurate in various conditions. Furthermore, if we compare the video results in outdoor conditions at full HD 30 frame per second resolution. Both of them can produce videos that are quite good and stable in everyday use. The difference that we find in the video results is the color saturation which tends to be higher for the video results on Samsung A34. And the color of the video also tends to be warmer or slightly yellowish on the Samsung Galaxy A34 video. For video contrast, it looks more contrasty on Samsung A54 series, although sometimes it tends to look a little darker overall. However, of course, the details look better in Samsung A54 5G video. And if you compare outdoor videos with high resolution 4K 30fps on both smartphones, the color and brightness of the video as a whole look the same as in the previous Full HD video. The video looks a little warmer or yellowish on Samsung A34 video. And the video as a whole is also a little brighter on Samsung Galaxy A34 5G. Meanwhile, the video from A54 looks more contrasty and tends to be a bit darker, but with better detail. Apart from being more detailed, the results of recording 4K 30fps video on Samsung A54 are also slightly superior. Because you can still change the lens to the ultra wide lens or double the zoom when recording videos at 4K 30fps. Meanwhile, on Samsung A34, you can only record 4K 30fps video on the main lens only. Furthermore, if you look at the video results in low light conditions at night, the video results with the main lens don't look too much different in quality. The autofocus movement here also seem to move at the exact same time on these two smartphones. And both of them seems to have a little trouble getting focus when recording the moving parts of the fountain and changing the lighting condition in the video at the same time. Then the difference in videos in low light conditions immediately looks different and better in A54 when recording videos with the ultra wide lens. The video results with the ultra wide lens on Samsung A54 look a little more detailed in some parts of the video than the ultra wide lens video on Samsung A34. This is equally visible in low light videos at full HD and 4K 30fps resolution. Then for low light photos with the front camera, the photos look much more detailed in the photos of Samsung A34. 
However, it is very visible that the photos are too processed by software and tend to look too sharp and over sharpening. And in some parts, it comes with a lot of noise. For a 54 photo, it looks a little less detailed but the colors seem more real and not too over sharpening. For portrait photos with the front camera in low light conditions, it also looks better on Samsung A54. And the character of the photos is also the same as the normal front camera mode. Here even though the front camera portrait photos look brighter on Samsung A34, the skin color looks too pale and less natural. The color of the original t-shirt has also changed too much in Samsung A34 photo. Meanwhile, in A54 portrait photo, the color of the shirt is closer to the color of the original shirt when viewed in person. Then for the results of photos in indoor condition with sufficient additional lighting, the results also look better on the photos of Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. The details are more clearly visible on the skin and also seem more natural. It looks not too over sharpening and also with minimal noise. Furthermore, when comparing front camera photos in outdoor conditions, the results of the photos look warmer and slightly yellowish in the photos of Samsung A54. For the results of Samsung Galaxy A34 photos, it looks cooler and tends to look over sharpened. But here, the over sharpening effect in other photos can actually look better. Even so, the photos from the front camera of Samsung Galaxy A54 seem more natural and true to their original conditions. Although sometimes the colors are too warm and slightly yellowish in some sample photos. Then, for the portrait photos using the front camera, the character of the photos is the same as the photos in standard mode. Next, for the front camera video quality in Full HD 30fps settings, the results look a little paler in video quality on Samsung A34 5G. The noise in the video is also much more visible in the video of Samsung Galaxy A34 in this low light condition. And for videos, Samsung A54 5G looks better with more natural colors and also with better detail. Then when recording 4K 30fps video in low light condition, there is also more noise in the video results of Samsung A34 compared to A54 5G. And overall the video results look better on Samsung Galaxy A54 for the front camera in low light conditions. Furthermore, for video results in other conditions with the front camera at Full HD 30fps resolution, the results look better in the video results of Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. The HDR features also looks better on Samsung A54. It can be seen clearly from the colors and the details in the sky in the background. The video also tend to be warmer in the video of Samsung A54 which also looks more suitable for video recording conditions in the afternoon. Then for 4K 30fps video results in outdoor conditions, the video looks exactly the same in character as the previous Full HD 30fps video. The colors are warmer on Samsung A54 and the HDR feature also looks better on the video of Samsung A54. Then if you want to check out other comparisons between Samsung Galaxy A34 and A54, you can click on the video that appears on the screen. Hopefully useful, see you in the next video.